So hopefully nothing comes out to get me. Hello? Anyone? So look at this bass. Let me see if I can touch him. Do you remember me, buddy? Guys, you will not believe what's going on right now. Our crayfish are mating. <laughs> Okay, Slayers, we are at the Mega Pond. Now, I don't know what's going on, but I guess the guy I usually talk to who takes care of this pond besides me decided to go ahead and turn off the pump. So we're a little low, but it's doing okay still. And what's pretty crazy is one of our bass was just here. He was just here, and I spooked him. So we're going to go ahead and go down low and see if we can find our bass. So hopefully nothing comes out to get me. Hello? Anyone? So yeah, I don't know. Ooh, spiders. I don't know why. This dude keeps turning off the pump. I was gonna turn it on, I'm gonna go turn it on later. This gets really annoying. More spiders under here as always. Be free. So guys, here are our bass right here. That's bass numero uno. Bass numero dos right next to all the bluegill. So our bass are doing okay. I'll cuddle up right here, see him? And then you see him right there. I don't know if you guys see because of lighting, but yeah. There's the other bass. So now I'm gonna go ahead and walk around and see what else is going on. And see what we have that's still alive and doing well, hopefully. But look at this bass, let me see if I can touch him. Do you remember me, buddy? Hey, buddy. Oh, come on, see you later. Just like that. So the other guy's there and, uh, oh, there's another one right there, hold on. Let me move around. Hopefully I don't fall in. You know me guys, I always fall in. Well, you guys can kind of see his tail. Come on. Beep your face. Oh, there he is. So the water levels are definitely low. I don't know why this guy keeps doing this, guys. Like, it's really annoying. So, a lot of you guys were wondering. Um, this pond, actually, is just one that I help take care of. I just kind of just feed the fish and I put fish here. Our big bass are right here, guys. The light is shining but you guys can't really see. Let me, let me see if I can scoot my way down. down. Scooty scoot. Scooty scoot. Yeah, both bass are right there, so. You can't really see. He's way at the right there. That's the shadow right there. There's the tail to the right, a little out of the water. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little recon of the area and see what else we can find. Shut up. All right, guys. So this is what the pond looks like now. It's kind of kind of low but still have enough room for the other fish so the real reason I'm here is that I was gonna go ahead and move the goldfish the archer everybody I was gonna go ahead and move them into the mega pond because I want them to have enough space but what I really wanted to do was move ninja in here temporarily so he can grow bigger and there's so much food I don't have to worry about like constantly feeding him because his diet's kind of like been crawfish and like some frozen foods lately, but I want to change it. Anyways, I think this is the perfect place to move him. And I was considering putting the goldfish, but now how am I gonna go ahead and be able to catch every single goldfish in this pond? I can fish for ninja like in the future if I put him in here. So I think that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And also if this ends up drying up, which I hope that's not the case because it happened last time. If it ends up drying up, we're gonna go ahead and save our fish. But like I said, I'm gonna talk to our guy, which he's gonna be meeting me up very soon and moving ninja in here shortly. Guys, check this out. We have a cool friend, Woody the Woodpecker. He's in there. Let me see if I can get a better review. All right guys, so I just talked to the guy who helps me take care of this pond and he wasn't thrilled that I was in here. Apparently the area is closed, so that's kind of annoying. So we're gonna have to stop doing things in the mega pond in the time being. Now, we still have our bass here and I was letting him know, I'm like, hey dude, can you not, uh?" Can you turn on these pumps so our fish don't die? So he says, look, if I turn on the pumps, everything should be okay. So I'm hoping to go ahead and show you guys him turning on the pumps. I don't know where he's at, if he's out there or not. But he asked me not to film in here anymore. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna try to grab Ninja real quick, put him in here, and then check on the crayfish. Like I was saying before, guys, I'm gonna have to, I might, I might have to go ahead and uh, ask for permission to get in if he does not get this situated because we can't have these fish dying and drying up so if not we'll just move them into a better place and then move them back in here in another time go away, go away. 
Okay, Slayer, so you wouldn't believe what's going on right now. You wouldn't believe. So I went ahead and I isolated our crawfish and look what's happening. Blue and Crayola are having babies. Now, I don't want to be too loud, but hopefully I don't agitate them because this could eventually could kill the female if everything doesn't go right. But 100%, they're mating, guys. Mating blue crawfish, they're mating right now. This is absolutely freaking insane. Oh my God. Like I just got back after releasing Ninja into the mega pond and look at this. This is what I come home to. I was gonna show you guys what I did, but I come home to mating crawfish. We're gonna have blue crawfish babies, guys. This is absolutely insane. I can't believe it. Oh my God. So I don't know how long this is gonna take. Usually they say it's about 30 minutes, give or take. See if anything happens. Let me see if I can go ahead and turn on light. I just don't want to spook them. Because if you upset them and and the female gets upset, then this could be really bad and detrimental. Like, like Crayola could die. Blue could kill Crayola. That's how it really rolls. Like, guys, I really want to show you what's going on. Maybe from above. Look at this. I really want to show you what's happening and put the flash. But I do not want to spook them. Because if anything happens, I don't want to go ahead and prevent their mating. I'm occurring. Look at that. They're mating. Oh my god. That's the craziest thing ever. So I'm gonna leave them alone and we'll be back. This is the craziest thing ever, guys. The crayfish are mating. Oh my god. So if you look, it's kind of like hip thrusting, like eh, eh, right there. And we should be having our blue crayfish babies, guys. Blue and Crayola are finally mating. Now, I would turn on the light, but I don't want to spook them. Because if you look, he is holding on to her claws and could snap them at any time. And if you interrupt them, you can actually end up killing your female crawfish. Oh, our lobsters are mating. This is insane. So we're going to go ahead and give them some privacy. Look at that, guys. They are breeding. Oh, my God. This is wild. Look at them. Wrapping things up right now. Oh my goodness gracious, what a scene. Finally got it live on video for you guys. This is really happening. We are making crawfish babies and he's done. <gasps> guys, it's over. It's done. 100%, it's finished. You guys saw all the clips and everything. We may have blue lobster babies. What's up bro, what's going on? All right, so I went ahead and finally turned on the lights. We got everybody here. Hey, what's going on? Claw. Everyone's back there. Look at these guys I'm about to go ahead and get at it right now. So, and we have everyone else in there hiding. But this is the main event, guys. Oof, I don't like this red. I don't like this red at all. But we have Phoenix over here. I'm about to go ahead and do a water change. Probably won't show you guys that, but he's doing well. Went ahead and ate all the pieces of pea inside. Now, we gotta go ahead and move our mama craw. Look at you, Crayola. You're about to be a mother to many. I'm gonna grab the female, get in here, get in here. Oh, she's fighting me, she's a feisty one. Come on, Crayola, come on, get in here, get in here. And we're gonna go ahead and move her, oh, get in here, Crayola, get in here. So we're gonna go ahead and move her into her new enclosure. Relax, I know you just got it on, but here we go, come on, get in your hole. Get in there. Dang it. Blue is fighting for her. This is by far one of the coolest things I have gotten on camera for you guys. So come on, Crayola, get in here. Get in here. Come on, there you go. You're looking good now to take you to your new home. All right, here we go. Here is our blue lobster, guys. This is gonna be our lobster enclosure. Wow, now we have red pellets. Be free. Be free. Go ahead. Get out of there. You got this. Come on. All right, this is the new lobster enclosure, guys. And this is why we had to go ahead and get rid of Ninja because he is the crawfish terror, my alien fish, Ninja, which soon we'll go ahead and get back. Hopefully we can catch him. But anyways, guys, now we have crawfish babies. I did not account for this, I swear. I swear I did not account for this, guys. This is the coolest thing ever. So, yeah, I guess this is gonna be the episode guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is gonna be so cool to do an update 
on our blue lobsters in the future. Look at that. She's going to have this entire tank to herself now. This entire tank. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop up those little pellets. And I'll see you guys in the next play adventure. Don't forget to subscribe.